Hey, this is Jim and Chris again today on a 2009 Impala. Today, we're gonna do this snaky looking thing, uh, also known as the EVAP solenoid. Uh, this is a super easy one today. We pulled a P0449 with our blue driver and our repair report told us that uh, this is highly likely to be in and after some testing, we found out that this in fact needed to be replaced. Uh, so Chris, I think this is a super easy one today. Uh, minimal tools, minimal steps. Uh, basically, you just need some hand tools and a jack. We're gonna lift up the car. Other than that, the greatest challenge you might run into is a couple of rusty or stuck bolts. This is a super easy repair. The book calls for less than a half an hour and a C-level skill. So I think anybody out there can handle this one on their own. The vapor canister vent valve, or EVAP canister solenoid, is an emissions control component of this system that traps fuel vapors and recirculates them back into the engine. When the system fails to operate as intended, unmetered air is allowed into the engine that can cause a rough idle or difficulty starting. Problems in the system also cause the check engine light to come on. For this repair, we used a set of pliers for moving hose clips, a 10 millimeter socket, a torque wrench, a ratchet, and a screwdriver for removing the connector on the solenoid. So this is a pretty easy job down here. There's just one bolt, one hose you disconnect, and one electrical connector. Uh, one thing I will say before we get started is you're probably gonna run into a lot of mud and dirt and maybe a bit of rust, so it's a good idea to have some glasses on to keep it out of your eyes. There's one connector. You can just reach up from underneath and pull on the orange tab and pull down to disconnect it. There's one 10 millimeter bolt just behind the fuel filler neck here. There is a hose back here and you wanna have a look at the area, just look for dirt. Uh, you wanna to try to keep any contamination out of the fuel system. So if there's a lot of dirt or mud or anything on the hose, maybe spray it down with a little brake cleaner or something else just to get any dirt out of the way. Once the area is clean, you just pull on the hose to disconnect it and it pops free. No tools required. All right, so here's our new one. Much nicer. Basically, it's just the reverse of taking it out. First, we lift it up into place. Take our 10 millimeter bolt. Torque the bolt to 89 inch pounds. Connect the hose. Plug in the connector. And that's it. Bad part out, good part in. Now we're gonna go ahead and clear the check engine light. Now, when you clear the check engine light, you can't go take an emission test. You do have to complete a drive cycle, which takes about 45 minutes of driving the vehicle around, depending on your route in the vehicle. This particular problem in your car also generates a permanent code. Permanent code is stored in your vehicle forever. That does not mean your check engine light is on. It also does not mean that you can't pass an emission check but it is a permanent record in your vehicle. Now, uh, you can see this dirty, nasty part. You can see who did all this work here. Uh, what'd you think, Chris? Taking a shower. You need a shower. 